What's up, Detroit? I'm just Lane. And I'm 10. And we're here from Hood to Hood. America's next hip hop superstar. Telling you to tune in to Metro Arts on Detroit's public television. Talent starts in the hood. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Metro Arts. I'm your host, Shayna Fields Clark. And here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business. From fine artists, photographers, performing artists, cinematographers, as well as musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, we have MC Lady T, executive producer of Metro Arts, Gary Sandrowski, and that hip hop group we all love, Fresh Air. What up, dope? It's Lady T, repping the 313, Princess Set of D. Bow! And you watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television right now. Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. <gasps> now Metro Arts would like to welcome one of the executive producers and creator of this show, Metro Arts, Gary Sandrowski. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thanks, Shana. Great to have you here. Well, I'm here all the time. You I know, know, I help exactly, produce the show. It's good here. to have you right here on stage with me. <laughs> it is. It's quite different, and it's, uh, it's, uh, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you so much. So anyway, just tell us a little bit how Metro Arts began. Metro Arts began actually about 10 years ago. I was working in uh, uh, Provincetown, Massachusetts on a, uh, another show called Art, Passion, and Entertainment. Uh, Metro Arts grew out of that show concept. I moved to Detroit and I started writing Metro Arts for Detroit, Chicago, LA, Dallas, and a couple of other places. And I was going to put a syndication together for 
a large network. Okay, okay. So right now, how do you feel Metro Arts is doing? Is it what you expected when you started out, or how do you? Um, it's course? it's great. It has really changed a lot. My my main concept is still there, but to be able to give that concept to the camera people to other directors and to other producers and have this show now come out of it is great. Um, it's like you can instill something in someone, but you really instill it when they take it to the next level. And all the other people working on this show um, have all added to it to bring it to what it is today. Okay, okay which brings me to my next question. How do you um, see taking Metro Arts to the next level? To the next level, there's a lot I would still like to do. I would like to have a separate performance space for the performers. Um, a, a larger studio or just the studio set up a little different than the way it is now. Um, I really like the performance aspect of the show. Um, the dialogue is really good. And show, showcasing the, perf the dialogue in the performance, I think, uh, really is what makes the show what it is, be it in Metro Detroit or in Metro Chicago. Mm -hmm. And from people watching the show and viewing the show and the performances, what do you want them to gain after watching? I would, what, what I strive to relay to the audience is new artists, think different. Uh, maybe this isn't a mainstream artist that uh, you're hearing on the radio all the time or on YouTube, um, but this is, uh, I'm trying to expose the audience to something a little different than what they're used to. Uh, and I also strive to give the performer another outlet to an audience that would not normally come to see their shows. So that's where okay. I... So if you had to sum up in one sentence for someone who has never watched Metro Arts, don't know what it's about, what would you say? New entertainment. Mm -hmm. And entertainment as in performing artist, fine artist, musical artist. So it's art in general, but it's we try to keep it new and fresh, up and coming. This is what, what you know, what's driving the industry today. Okay. And Gary, have you ever been an entertainer, play any instruments? I have been. I was a street musician for many years in Boston and Cape Cod. Um, I've been in multiple bands. I, I come from a big audio background. And uh, uh, I still, still write a lot today for uh, um, TV, movies, so forth like that. Mm -hmm. So with the production here on Metro Arts, Tell us a little bit, because I know what it's like. Can you tell us a little bit how is that? The production here is, is a real interesting mix uh, between uh, Detroit Public Television and Wayne State University. So there's a partnership there, and everybody brings something to the table. Some bring equipment here, some bring equipment there, some bring some talent, some bring some workers. And uh, we make it work. It's a little... It's a little dicey at times, configuring schedules and equipment and so forth like that. But as long as we all communicate, we're able to, to make it all happen. Okay, so do you like working with everyone here? I do, I do. There's, uh, I don't take any favorites, but um, it's great. Uh, last semester, we had a different host than you, Shana. Yes. And uh, she was great. She has moved on to BETV. And uh, we have a new camera crew this, this semester, which is a great camera crew. Our, our, um, our in-studio crew, in the, uh, our technical crew in the um, control room, another great crew back there. Uh, we have uh, a new makeup artist this year, Dee Dee. She's doing a great job for everybody. And one of the things that we have this year that we didn't have last year was in-house catering. And we have this lady that cooks this wonderful food and brings it to us, which makes our day and our productions go so much smoother. Well, thank you, Gary, for joining us here on Metro Arts. I know you're always in the back, so you get a chance to get up on the stage. Thank you, Shana, and thank you for being the host here oh, on Metro Arts. It is a pleasure Arts. to be the host of Metro Arts. And thank you, guys. And just remember, I'm just going to send a little reminder to you guys, there would be no Metro Arts if there was no crew. And Gary, of course. We're, We're fresh, fresh air. air. And you're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television.
Metro Arts will now like to welcome MC Lady T to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? It's great, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. I see all the bling, show the bling. Ah, uh, yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> so just to start off things, women in hip hop are sometimes viewed as negative. Explain that. I think women in hip hop are viewed as negative because like society, they only make like room for just one female. It's like spotlight on one female. They won't allow, like, this female doing something, this female doing something. It's like it's always isolated with female hip-hop. It's like with guys, you can have 100 rappers, and they, all of them can get on each other's songs. But with females, it's just it's rough. But I feel like everyone has their own lane. I have my own lane. That person has their own lane, and we can just get money together. Okay. And personally, what steps have you taken just to stand out? Well, I'm me. I'm 100% Lady T. When you see me out in the street, when you see me in a video, when you see me in an interview, it's 100% Lady T. No one tells me, oh, you have to wear this, oh, you have to say this. It's me. <laughs> and you say you have a clothing brand coming oh, out. Oh, yeah, I have a clothing line called G'd Up Clothing coming out in 2012. Okay, and what made you want to go into a little bit of the fashion? I mean, because when I perform, people always used to be like, oh, my God, where are you? Because I perform, like, in custom stuff all the time. So they're like, oh, my God, where you get this from? Where you get this from? So I'm like, well, hold on. I should just make, you know, start my old clothing line. So that's where the inspiration came from. Okay, so here on Metro Arts, we always ask um, our artists, like, where does their creative process come from? Where do yours? Well, my creative process come from, like, it's experiences. Like, you know, things that I go through, things that my friends go through, things that I see on TV. Like, my inspiration comes from everywhere. And, like, when I get in the zone, you know, I just go in the studio, got, the lights have to be dim. You know, light up uh, some candles and just go in the booth and just... Go. Okay. And so in five years from now, where do you see Lady T, which will be yourself? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> five years from now, you know, I have a, a record label called Gita Records. And, like, my dream, like, my dream is to bring Motown back. Like, we're still here, but it's so much talented artists in Detroit, and I just want the world to see that. So my goal is to, you know, sign people from Detroit and let the world see the talent. Okay. And when did you feel that you wanted to become a hip-hop artist? Uh, when I was in the third grade, I was inspired by the late Lisa Lefty Lopez. That's she's we my, love her. Yes, that's my biggest inspiration. And uh, third grade is like you know I did the whole group thing, and I went to my mom and was like you know I want to rap, and she was like you want to rap. I'm like yeah, I really want to rap. So you know I auditioned for Apollo, and when I auditioned, it was like a lot of kids there, but they wasn't that good. But you know the you know <laughs> the mom was like that's my baby. Oh lord. So my mom was like hold on. So she worked for an advertising agency and, uh, you know, she played the tape for them. And, you know, they was going through the tape and they was like, hold on, wait, who is that girl? She has talent. So my mom came back to me like, you really want to do this? Because it's like, it's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of sacrifice, and it's a lot of this right here. Absolutely. And I was like, yes. And she was like, okay. And, like, I've been rapping since I was nine. And when I tell you it's a lot of sacrifice, it's a lot of sacrifice. Wow, wow. So you was also featured on 106 in Park a couple of times. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I was on 106 in Park. Uh, while I Wednesday, I won both times. I am like the Congratulations. champion. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm the champion <laughs> for uh, female hip hop. And that was like a, a, one of the best experiences I ever like did ever. And it opened a lot of doors for me. And I'm just blessed. And if you voted for me, text, I just want to thank you. And I want to thank the city of Detroit for standing behind me 100%. Okay. And when it comes to doing your music, can you give us a little sample? Oh, of course. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Clear the throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uno, dos, trace, cuatro. Tell me to the north and I'm still going to be hot, though. Tell me to the south and I'm really going to burn. Watch and learn and just wait your turn. Call me hot-headed because I burn like a perm. Get your mind out of gutter. I ain't talking about germs. Killing the feeling me, y'all. Can't get rid of me. Sit back, relax, and get hooked like a worm. I ain't killing them. Ain't nobody feeling them. Best female rapper since Foxy Brown and Little Kim and them. I got the torch so like Twitter. Follow me and I'ma take hip hop where it's supposed to be. Back to the real stuff, back to the hood. Unfollow me, I wish you would, you wish you could. Just flow like me, it's so nasty. You be like, ugh. And I'm known to get that dough. And I'm known to spend it fast. You spend your money on cars and clothes, I got my own business. Might be young, but I'm taking number one, can't be number two. It's the first loser, y'all better run. Here I come, throw you in the river, y'all know what I'ma do to you. Hot in the ground, but I ain't Lucifer. Hurry up, y'all better get loose of her. Get in the house, you don't wanna get hurt. Don't Never know when that hurricane occur. Turn my swag on, but nah, I ain't soldier boy. I come from the D. I roll with them soldiers, boy. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Great. Well, she definitely have her swag here on Metro Arts. And you guys can tune into Metro Arts to see MC Lady T take it away.
Hey Detroit, I'm fashion designer Joe Ferris and you're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. Yeah! Lady T, you know, I think it's about time we shut it down. You ready? Okay. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap them hands. Clap them hands. Clap them hands. Here we all up in the club. Here we bought the tin up. Yeah, you know it's G'd up. If you reppin' the wit up, we in here. Bought the riot, man. Somebody call the fireman. Security, we don't need y'all no more. Y'all do this fight. So just hit the dough. You get on the flow. I will get them live. Y'all just get high. Clap it up. Grind with it. Call my ladies. Grind with it. You can feel it. We see go get it. And make it a bit. See it on that slip. You serve. It is so live in here. It feels like a concert. Put me one more time. This stuff is going to occur. Not going to be pretty. So this is what I prefer. Get up out of here. Cause y'all don't want to get hurt. Flow is ridiculous. They get no one. You're killing it. And I brought the unlimited. I can go all day. Boy, I'm feeling it. If you screw up, I'm drilling it. CD dropping. I'm feeling it. Now what you going to say? We be deep off in the club. Walking from the back because the owner know what's up. Hanging out we on the cloud. DJ. Hurricane up, we about to shut the club down. Hop on the stage, but I'm not Lil Mama. You don't really want it, cause you know I got a lot of Goons in the club, and they don't offer no trouble. Hands up, let me see you get them up. Hands up, hands up, let me see you get them up. Get them up, get them up, let me see your hands up. Get them up, get them up, let me see your hands up. L A D Y T 1 E. Everybody know I'm the princess of the D. L A D Y T 1 E. Everybody know I'm the princess of the D. Hello, I'm Nakshi Nassif, one of the associate producers for Metro Arts. This season, we will showcase some of Metro Detroit's finest artists. Just a few of our guests that we'll be meeting include DJ and electronic dance music producer Rami Riashi, who's known as Deborah, singer Laura Finley, and actor Carolette Phillips. More information about our show is available on our website, MetroArtsDetroit.com. Metro Arts is produced at the Midtown Studio at Wayne State University. Now we would like to welcome hip hop artist Green from the group Fresh Air. Hi, how are you? How's it going? All right. Good, good, good. So tell us what does Fresh Air mean? Um, well, Fresh Air is, um, well, first of all, it's a group, it's a four man group um, based out of Detroit, Michigan. And we, li we like to call it alternative hip hop. So um, what we are hoping to convey is um, that it's just a, something new, something completely different, something original, and it's just something fresh. And it is original <laughs> because yeah. it, it's spelled how? Oh, it's uh, spelled P-H-R-E-S-H. And so we just, um, we did it, we, we wanted something different. We wanted to be like phonetically correct about it, but it's something that had a different twist and had a different spin, and I guess it worked out well. Who created this name? Um, well, we were in the basement, and it was um, Mike. We were just writing down names, and Mike just put fresh air, and then we started spelling it different ways, and then we came up with the, with the name. Okay. Okay, what does hip-hop mean to fresh air? Because so many people who are hip-hop artists, you know, they have their own terminology of what does it exactly mean? Um, I guess it will mean to the group is um, just a friendship, a bond between, you know, brothers, I guess. Um, we've been doing, like, uh, Ken and Mike, that have been doing music since I can, I can remember I met them. Like, before I even met them, they had a, a band that did stuff. And um, they had a band called The Grey Level, and they did shows in the Michigan State and around. And it was, it's just friendship. It's always been the core of friends, just making music together. Okay. And how many are in the group? It's four now. It, uh, we, once we first started off, it was five. And then we, we just parted ways, creative differences and whatnot. We still, we, we did a song with them on our second project, Fly Another Day, which is out right now. And um, it worked out pretty good, but it's still four of us now. Mm -hmm. Now, with the four, um, just um, what are you guys' experiences with music, like before getting into a group? Um, well, like I said, Ken and Mike had um, different bands. It's the Grey Level, Sound and Fury. Um, myself, I did, like, I, I played music in elementary school and middle school and up to high school. So 
I did that. Um, Garvey wrote in the band they had, like back in high school. So it was just always that, and we did music as, as just a pastime, I guess. Okay. So five years from now, where do you see yourself and with the group Fresh Air? Um, hopefully, still doing music. Um, hopefully, we're still doing music as a group. Maybe putting out another project or working on another project. Um, myself, just working on music and seeing what it, where it could go. Okay. And can, are you going to give us a little sample today of your, <laughs> what you do? I, I, I guess so. Um, damn, I always get put on the spot with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, till I'm living it up and my crib is plush, jumping in a pool of gold like I'm Scrooge McDuck, never satisfied, refuse to let life pass me by, cloud infatuation, I stay miles high, take off, lay back, relax, close my eyes, think and reach inside and let it become what I write tonight before the 757 takes flight, a shooting star in the sky that is zoomed by your sight. Wow, wow. And where did you get inspiration to? You wrote that. Mm -hmm, I wrote that. Where did you get inspiration? Um, I, was, I was sitting in my car, and um, during the, like the first writing for the first project, I was sitting in my car a lot and write. I, I guess it's clear my head and whatnot. And over me, you could see planes coming in to the metro airport. And so I just write and just look at the planes coming in at night. And it's like, huh, let me just write a line about that and try to implement it. And, came out. <laughs> I mean, many different ways people get, you know, inspired. Mm -hmm. Now, do you, are you the only one in the group that writes? Um, everybody writes their own verses. Everybody writes. Um, Ken, Ken does the, all the instrumentation and engineering. Um, and Mike and Garvey and myself, we write. Okay. So. And what are some upcoming shows or something that we can expect? Or how can we get your music? Um, well, you can get our music at freshair.com, which is P-H-R-E-S-H, -E air, like in yeah, Let everybody know. It's air, a P. Yeah, it is a P. It's a P. But um, freshair.com, Google Freshair, um, our music is up on that piff, um, on Bandcamp. It would be freshair.bandcamp.com. So that's where all our music is. All right, is that? All right, Green. Well, we look more to hearing from you and the group Fresh Air. Thank you. Let us know here at Metro Arts so we can come out and support you. <laughs> you can come back okay. and tell us, you know, some upcoming things that you guys have. That'll be good. So thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you guys for tuning in to see Green with the group Fresh Air. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I'd like to thank our special guests, Lady T, Gary Sandrowski, and Fresh Air for joining us today. I'm your host on Metro Arts, Shayna Fields-Clark, reminding you to always support the arts in your community.